Welcome to this video about Mirror 42, KPI dashboards and scorecards for ServiceNow. In this video, we will show you how to install the user interface integration between Mirror 42 and ServiceNow. Once you've done this, you can deploy all your KPI dashboards and scorecards directly in the, user now, in the ServiceNow interface. But let's first give you a brief overview uh, and recap of what Mirror 42 for ServiceNow is. So Mirror 42 for ServiceNow is a KPI dashboard and KPI scorecard solution that snapshots all the information of your best practice key performance indicators. It comes with over 50 KPIs out of the box and you can easily add your own. Um, now once these key performance indicators have been defined, we will generate the metrics from ServiceNow, we will take snapshots of how your key performance indicators score and maintain that metrics in the metric history database. It is important to note that we do not require a full copy of the ServiceNow database. So this means that all the details about your IT service management stays safely inside ServiceNow and does not have to be replicated in another database. The statistics are offloaded in the metrics history database without any details. Now, those statistics can be analyzed through trend analysis, but can also be used in formulas to create new key performance indicators on the fly that you can then easily deploy. The system automatically generates scorecards. Scorecards compare your actual score with your targets, one set, and provide the famous color coding uh, scorecards, where green is above target and red is below target. It will also report on the relative change compared to the last period. Are you improving or are you declining your performance? And it will allow you to quickly view the trend. Where did we come from? Where are we now? Are we moving towards target? Giving you the historical perspective that you need in order to improve your business. The scorecards can be deployed directly in ServiceNow. So are the dashboards. The dashboards are alternative visualizations that you can create yourself without any coding. You just simply choose the visualizations you would like, drag and drop, and you can create different dashboards for different people. Those different dashboards for different people can be distributed using the roles and authorizations of ServiceNow. The scorecards and the dashboards are directly deployed inside ServiceNow. And how do we install that? That is that we will be showing you in this uh, demonstration. Besides the ServiceNow user interface, end users can also use their mobile apps to actually uh, access the same information. Again, there's nothing to code. Simply install the apps on your iPad or iPhone or Android, log in, and you'll have exactly the same information at your fingertips. The system is fully automated. It snapshots the data every day, so you'll be always up to speed with the latest situation of your key performance indicators. Now, Mirror 42 really complements ServiceNow. What we've done is not replicate the reporting engine of ServiceNow. ServiceNow has got a great reporting engine for ad hoc reporting, and ServiceNow is great because you can define all the kinds of views possible in your data, you know, even using the database views. What we've done on top of that is allow you to define key performance indicators, snapshot those, maintain the history, and allowing you to do trend analytics, which is something that is natively not available in ServiceNow. Now, with those trend analytics, we can compare it against targets and set thresholds, and really turning it into a continuous improvement program, allowing you to improve on your key performance indicators and to see where you were, where you are, and where do you want to be. If we need to get access to the detailed records behind the key performance indicators, we simply use the existing ServiceNow functionality and launch back into ServiceNow using our smart links. Now, before we will show you the UI integration, we will tell you what do you need in order to get this installed. 
Well, first of all, you need a, a working Mirror 42 environment. This could be a demo environment, it could be an empty environment. Second of all, you need to have a ServiceNow environment. Again, could be a demo environment, could be a real production environment. And the third thing that you need is the update set, which is an XML file, an update set for ServiceNow, um, which is being validated, tested, and certified by ServiceNow, and it's being built by Mirror42 and can be provided to you uh, as well through Mirror42. So once you have all these three things, you can install the UI integration. Let's take a look. So let's launch up a browser. And here I am in a clean demo environment of ServiceNow, which is my demo environment, my ServiceNow environment. Here are my dashboards in the Mirror 42 environment. I've got my scorecards on my dashboard, I've got multiple dashboards set up and created. As you can see, there are many. Um, you know, in the we have different dashboards for different processes and you know allowing you to zoom in um, and to navigate all the information in the system so these dashboards this is what we're going to deploy inside ServiceNow so let's go back to ServiceNow and let's log in as an administrator So as you'll see, there's no ServiceNow menu, or there's no Mirror 42 menu, I'm sorry. Um, and what we'll do is we'll install uh, the Mirror 42 uh, application, so it will create an application here on top in ServiceNow. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll go to System Update Sets. There it is. And we do Retrieve Update Set. Import update set from XML, choose file, and this is the file you need, the XML file, the update file provided by Mirror42. You then upload it, and once it uploaded, you select it, and you preview the update set. It then runs, and it validates it. It says complete success, so we return to the update record, and we commit it and then it's installed. So here it is running, refreshing, complete success. Good. Now, once I refresh this, we will see the Mirror 42 menu appearing. There it is. Obviously it's empty because it does not know to what Mirror 42 environment to connect to. So now I need to connect it to this Mirror 42 demo environment of service now. So how do I do that? Well, the update set also installed additional security settings. System security all the way down, it says Mirror 42 consumer secret. You hit new consumer secret. The home URL, you simply copy the first section of the URL. And then you need to find the consumer secret. You can find that in the account setting as an administrator in the Mirror 42. You go to the account setting, integrations, and there you'll find your consumer secret. If it's not there, you can create a new one by hitting the create new token. You copy and paste this. Go back to service now. Hit submit. And you're done. We now click on the dashboards, you'll see the dashboards loading in ServiceNow. And there they are. So this is how easy it is to load the dashboards in ServiceNow as well as the scorecards. Um, and that's it. That's all you need to do. Uh, now obviously you can deploy different dashboards for different users. You can also have an alternative role that only shows the dashboards and not the scorecards, uh, and you can configure it any way you'd like. Um, so create new roles in uh, ServiceNow as you would do with any other role, um, applying that to the Mirror 42 application, and then with inside Mirror 42, you can deploy different dashboards to different users. So you have role-based access. Um, that's it, that's how easy it is. Thank you for your attention, and um, we'll uh, looking forward to seeing you as a customer. Thank you.